a style of groovy style and a part that just won't stop. When the joint gets rough, he's super tough with a Hong Kong fooey chop. Yeah. Hong Kong fooey, number one super guy. Hong Kong fooey, put it down the hill, my eye. Welcome to the final tour of Hong Kong, and without further ado, let's head back to where we started. This is the main event, Gun Street. Um, here you'll find all the big name shops like your Guns and Guys, Den Trinity, even WE Classic Army have got shops, uh, plus a lot of little shops which you haven't heard of before most likely unless you're a Hong Kong yourself. Um, so like I said, Hong Kong way of doing things is all stores clustered together so if you want an airsoft product you come down to Conwa Street. Um, for a foreigner like me coming to this place it's absolute heaven. I mean uh, back in the UK if I think of an obscure part that I need for a pistol or a, a broken part of a rifle then it's going to be a real pain in the arse. I've got to order it from abroad um, or maybe you wait for a, a local shop to get it in stock. But here it's awesome. I get on the train. Um, I'm down here in half an hour and uh, I literally, if it's made in airsoft, then you will find it on this street. I don't welcome to that.
So Gun Street isn't the be all and end all. There's um, a few shops that are dotted around the place. Uh, almost opposite Gun Street in a big uh, building is WGC. Um, Bunny Workshop's another one that springs to mind down in Kowloon Bay. They do a lot of gas blowback stuff. Um, so yeah, gas blowback custom work. You want to go see those guys? Of course, this is Asia. So remember the golden rule. That is get off of the street level and go up into the buildings. Inside the little buildings and the shopping malls all around uh, the Gun Street area you're going to find little airsoft shops that sell a lot of really well-priced gear. As mentioned, over the road from Gun Street you have the, the parking commercial centre. War Games Club are in there, they've got a shop but no stock so they have to order the items in, it's a real pain. And Supreme Co have a shop in there which is really really nice, um, loads of top-end gear and very friendly. Asia Airsoft are another little shop which is very interested in the export business and you can find them in a strange little booth up near the Golden Computer Arcade which is like around here. RSOV are another name which is very familiar to players in the UK and they've got their little showroom warehouse just over here near the old airport in a kind of obscure part of town and as I was saying just across the bay is Bunny Workshop over here, not too far from CQB Plaza. Tiger 111 are up in the old factory district up here. 
Finally, there are a couple of stores over on Hong Kong Island. Um, not many because the rent over here is just crazy priced. But in Wan Chai District, you've got Bang Bang, Airsoft Surgeon's new store. Much like Impact Force, Bang Bang is a premium airsoft store and all that entails. And finally, sat on its own, you've got UN Company, which is a really old school store. And I loved going through their bargain bin because it was full of uh, the airsoft parts of yesteryear. Like stuff that I was putting on my guns 18 years ago. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is Hong Kong Airsoft Retail. To be honest, I barely had a penny left in my bank account after that little tour. The sacrifices I make for my art. So, I've been in Hong Kong for eight months now and I hope with the videos that I've been shooting for you that um, I've been able to give you some insight into Airsoft in Hong Kong and by extension um, a bit of insight into how Airsoft works in general because um, Hong Kong is kind of where it all starts from really um, popularising the sport, the big retailers, the wholesalers, uh, even some of the manufacturers really so um, in conclusion um, the shop in here is really awesome uh, you can get anything you want, you can get some really great prices too if you're thinking about having a holiday in Asia then you should really think about coming to Hong Kong because it's a really interesting place if you come between um, say end of October um, mid-December then the weather's really really nice it's like a really pleasant British summertime and uh, there's loads of stuff to see fantastic hiking actually there's really good beaches which you wouldn't expect from um, a big city like this um, so yeah it's a pretty cool place the actual war games themselves are a bit of a letdown uh, if I'm completely honest the sites are really small and there's no variety in the games, it's deathmatch every single time. A um, bit of a shame really. The sites are very small though and uh, that's just the nature of Hong Kong itself. There's 7 million people in a very small space and um, yes, that kind of defines Hong Kong really. Space is at a premium in everything. Uh, the community is very friendly, it plays very safe, they have very sensible self-imposed limits and uh, they're extremely welcoming. So, yeah, I mean, if you do come over for a game, then uh, get in touch with them. Uh, I'd recommend HK Off The Grid, because they're a predominantly English-speaking community. Get in touch with them if you want to come over and play, and uh, they'll be more than happy to get you involved. Um, on the subject of which, massive thanks to all the guys and gals that have got me involved in the community, and um, uh, massive kudos to you, because you've made my eight months really good fun. And of course, if you guys want to come over and play in the UK, then just give me an email and we'll set something up because um, I'm very keen to extend the uh, same invitation that you've given me. And we play some awesome games in the UK, so you really should come over and give it a try. Sadly, today marks the end of my adventures in Hong Kong, but uh, it's merely the start of the channel. So if you want to see what other nonsense me and my buddies get up to in the airsoft world, then um, give us a subscription. But for now, I was Fury, and this sunny old bird was Hong Kong. I'm singing in the rain, just singing in the rain. What a glorious feel, and I'm happy again. I'm laughing at clouds, dark up above. The sun's in my heart, and I'm ready for love.